As companies become more aware of the cost and environmental impact of their energy consumption, ways of reducing the amount of energy that's wasted will become critical. Chemistry World has come to Caloritum's demonstration plant in Antwerp to see how chemistry can help solve that problem. What Caloritum technology does is that we take waste heat from industry, as you see here in the back, going through a chimney. We take that waste heat and we pump it up to a higher temperature level so that it is usable for the industry again, which means we transform it from waste heat, as you see it, into steam. And we transform it in a chemical reaction. The chemical reaction is a polymerization of liquid phosphates. We remove water, and by removing water out of a reaction mixture, we have a polymerization. Yeah? And by adding the water again, we have a hydrolysis or a uh, hydrolyzation reaction, and this is releasing heat. And this heat is what we need, because the heat released is at a higher temperature level than the heat we capture from the waste heat. We copy it to the the nature energy principle in all living cells. They're using ATP and ADP and uh, polymerize and depolymerize or hydrolyze the, uh, the ATP to ADP and release heat. The, the nice thing of the caloritum technology is that we can deliver a high heat lift. And this is what the current technology cannot. They cannot deliver 60 degrees of heat lift. And that's what caloritum technology does. Due to the fact that we have a demonstration plant here, we can simulate customers' business cases on our installation and show them the technology works for them. Our uh, industries are using uh, steam to run their, their operations. Who are these, uh, who are these industries? These are uh, the big industries um, producing uh, food ingredients, we're producing uh, paper uh, pulps, or processing, uh, making paper, are the chemical industry, steel industry. It are operations who are actually running more than 8,000 hours a year. What we have done in the last months is uh, bringing the technology to a more commercial level. So we have built a demonstration plant at the site of Indaver here in the port of Antwerp. From the moment you have, uh, you can show to the industry that you have a reliable equipment, then you can start the commercialization and sell it into the market. So the port of Antwerp is the second largest port in Europe in terms of cargo handling. This year we will do more over than 200 million tons. But what makes the port of Antwerp specific and special is that within the territory of the port there is the biggest petrochemical cluster of Europe. And so an initiative like this really adds a lot to the fact that all those petrochemical class, uh, companies who are clustered to each other, so what's waste for one company is becoming feedstock for another company, uh, well, this initiative is adding a lot uh, in that philosophy, using what was thrown away until now uh, and, and, and make a recuperation of it. Today we are faced with the, uh, in, the, with the environmental conference in Paris. The whole world is expecting us to uh, help to reduce the uh, warming up of the earth to below 2 degrees C. And everybody knows every bit of help will be needed. And the technology from Caloritum will help very substantial to reuse the wasted energy, do something useful with it, reduce the, the carbon footage, reduce the CO2. I'm convinced that most of the uh, big companies and small companies will have targets imposed by themselves and by the whole world to help achieving this target. And uh, apart from the money gain, the uh, ethical pressure will be there to do something about it. And that's where Caloritum will help them. So next step for Caloritum for the, the, our plan is for next year that we want to sell two to four installations. And recently we sold the first installation uh, to a company, an ethanol producing company in Poland, uh, where we built uh, an installation, start up uh, the construction early January, and uh, the aim is to have it operational by the end of quarter two, quarter three 2016. The, the capacity of this installation is uh, four times the size that we have here at Indaver. Now we're also taking the opportunity to bring it to the next stage, uh, stage and scale it up to an uh, 500 kilowatt installation.